Okay, guys, I am back with my second Let's Play of Pokemon Black Walkthrough. So, on the last part, so you um, know what we did. Um, we started the game, got our starter, and met all the characters. So, now we are, um, we have to meet up with Professor Juniper with Sharon and Bianca. So, when you come up here, Sharon will say, I'm sorry, but could you go to Bianca's house? She's spacing out like she usually does. Okay, I'm gonna move this screen a little. She's totally flighty. Okay. So, what we're gonna have to do is go to Bianca's house, and one of these two, I think it's this one. So, when you go to Bianca's house, um, her dad and, um, will be like arguing with her about her becoming a trainer so you have to like look through this watch and she comes up and so she's like oh it's okay it's fine I'll be waiting for you in front of the lab okay so she goes out and we're gonna have to meet up with them in the lab So there they are, and when you talk to them, they say, "Okay, let's meet the professor." So you walk in. And hi there! I've been waiting for you, young people. Let me introduce myself again. My name is Professor Juniper. We know your name. Oh, come on, come, on, Sharon. It's not a time to take things lightly. Today is a day to remember always, so it's best to behave some formal formality. That being so, once again, my name is Professor Juniper, and I am researching when and how the creatures called Pokemon came into existence. So she tells us everything, and that's unusual. You've already had a Pokemon battle, so that's, maybe that's why. It feels as though your Pokemon have already trusted you. By the way, would you like to give your Pokemon a nickname? Well, in games, I don't, I really don't nickname. I don't really like to nickname my Pokemon. So, I'm not gonna. Ah, sorry, I just shook the camera. Okay, and, yeah. That's for why I gave you all Pokemon. For the Pokedex, right? Pokedex, what's that? I'm astonished. Nice work, Sharon. You already had studied. You already studied Pokemon, as extensively, haven't you? Well, let me explain everything from the beginning for everyone's sake. And she goes through her little machines, and yeah, she says that it's a high-tech device and it records all the Pokemon you encounter. So if you get them all, you get like the national deck, and that's really cool. So she asks us if she if we want to go on an adventure with the Pokédex and with our Pokémon, and we all say yes. So she gives us the Pokédex, and they actually made the Pokédex a lot better in the new game. So that's the good. And so next, I need to teach her how to meet the Pokémon. So she goes out to Route One, and we all talk to each other. And we should, tr he said, Sharon says we should travel with the Pokédex, so that's what we're going to do, and we are going to start out on Route 1. So right when you come out, your mom is there, and she's actually going to give you an item. So it is the town map. She gives us all three one, and you probably know what a map is, but I'll just explain it to you. A town map is... The, is, um, like, maybe, okay, how do you say it? Okay, yeah, uh, town of the whole, uh, Nova. So, that'll help us. And she gives one to everybody. So, now she says, no need for anybody to worry, take care of tidying up. Okay, Blaze. Ah, oh, Pokemon, they're so cute, but... They have enough power to destroy a bedroom. They're really something. 
With Pokemon like that at your side, you'll be safe wherever you go. Let your parents know. Hope that in addition to Pokemon, you'll find lots and lots of places you'd like in the you know, region and become wonderful adults. Have a great trip. So, she gets back, she walks back home, and, she's, and Sharon says, if I use the town map, I always know where I am. Yep, it is helpful, because it shows everywhere. Shall we head for Route 1? The professor's waiting. Let's go, let's go, Blaze, hurry up and come too, okay? So, Route 1. In the game, there's a bunch of different routes, and this is the first route. But in the older games, they started with a route 229 or something. But now this is all exciting music, and she brings me over here, and Bianca, Bianca says that she wants us to all step into Route 1 at the same time. Start our journey. So, okay, here we go. One, two. Oh, wonder what will happen. And guess what? On this route, there are Pokemon in the grass. You probably already knew that, but there are pat rats, and yeah, that's probably it. So. Now she says she wants to explain. Pokedex pages on automatically update whenever you meet a Pokemon. Moreover, it's set up so that you obtain even more information than you can can't when that you can't when you can when you catch a Pokemon. To make this clear, I'm going to demonstrate how to catch a Pokemon. So she walks into the grass and she fights a Pokemon. So yeah, like I said, they're pet rats. And so it's a level two, and she sends in her mini phone, which is level seven. I think a professor in a new game needs to have some better Pokemon. But she uses Pound, and it's in the red. So then he, the Pat Rat uses Leer, and then she uses Pokeball. What you do to get a Pokeball is you go into your bag, and you press Pokeballs, and then you press the red one if you want to use a regular one. And so it goes, and if it shakes three times, you catch the Pokemon. But it has to shake three times and then do the stars like that. So, yeah, so she just catches a pet rat to show us how it's, she does it. And so, pet rat was caught. And it goes into her Pokédex, just like that, even though she probably has it already. Professor Jennifer, did you see that just now? Yeah, we did. Here goes. See, like I said, you have to first reduce the Pokemon's HP. Yeah, she got it in red, so that's the good part of catching it. Pokemon that still have all their energy are difficult to catch. Yeah, so if it's in green or something, like, don't use a Pokeball or anything. That would be stupid. Okay, so she gives us a gift, and she gives us five Pokeballs, I think. Uh, maybe it's like 10 or something, but... Okay, and she tells us to put the Pokeballs in the case, and... She says they're good for carrying, so... She says to meet us up... To meet her in a cumulative. Yeah. Um, she's... Every, all my friends say they'll go. And so... Here we go. I'm gonna step into the grass, and I am actually gonna... Um, level up my guys a little. I'm gonna get to like level eight. So sorry you have to watch this, but it's gonna take off up a little bit of the video. I wish I could edit it out, but I can't. So that's the bad part. And go tap pig. So what I'm gonna have to use is tackle. And I'm already at level 6, so it's not that bad. I'll be up to level um, 8 in no time. So, my defense falls. And let's use tackle again. One more tackle will take him out. He use tackle against me, and it only does 7 damage. Oh, no, I use tackle. And that knocks him out, so hopefully that levels us up. Yes, it does. Well, I think we learned an uh, ember, maybe. Yes, Ember, so that will help us destroy Pokemon a lot better, so, yeah, let's go to our next guy. 
I think you should actually watch this and you should level up too. Um, try to level up because you really need to level up your guys at the start so you can actually try almost like you can beat the gym leader easily. So he um my tactic uses Ember and it does have damage, so that is really good. And I'll use Ember one more time. Well it actually did more than half damage, so that's really powerful. And it's only level two, so that's probably why. And we gain 11 EXP. So, that's good. And, let's do this again. This might be my last guy that I'm going to battle because it's taking up a lot of time in the video. Okay, so it's a level 2. Usually when I play, um, play it without making a walkthrough, um, or videoing it, I, uh, Level my guys up to like level 10 or something, then they're really good. But for this, I'm not gonna. Yes, I need to get through it. At the end, my guys are gonna be about level 45, and that's good enough. And I'm gonna have a full team of six, so. And that's all the Pokemon I wanna battle so far. And let's get out of here. So, if you come, when you see the sign, Come straight up in, in the patch of grass, and you see, and you'll see this girl. What you want to do is, you'll talk to her, and um, she gives you a free potion, so that's pretty good. And so she says, "Yeah, it's actually pretty good." So I might use it right now, but no, because there's a um, there's the Poke Center right up here. So right when you get up here, I just want to tell you that you're going to have to talk a lot, too. You're going to have to talk a lot again. So here we go. Hopefully we can get past this patch of grass. And yes. So Bianca says, how about it, Blaze? Do you want to compare which one has the most Pokemon with them? Yeah, well, I don't really have any, but I guess I'll just see who wins. You only have one. You only have Tepe. You didn't catch any Pokemon. It'll be so lonely. Eventually, you can check your Pokédex and see how much Pokémon you found and how many you caught. After you accumulate the town, the professor is waiting. 